The International Finance Corporation and Chinese construction and engineering company CITIC Construction today signed a partnership that will see CITIC develop 30,000 homes in sub-Saharan Africa. The Chinese firm will partner with local developers and provide long-term capital to develop the units over the next five years. With a 300 million US dollars investments from IFC, the company Construct uh, will construct between 2,000 to 8,000 units in Kenya, Rwanda and Nigeria and later expand to other sub-Saharan countries. Here's KTN's David Onyango with that story. The $300 million partnership between the International Finance Corporation and City Construction comes at a time when the African continent as a whole faces an acute housing shortage. Through the deal signed Friday, the contractor will be able to develop 30,000 houses in Kenya, Rwanda and Nigeria over the next five years. IFC's partnership with CIDIC responds to a critical need for housing in sub-Saharan Africa. Our cities are growing very fast and the formal housing sector is struggling to keep up with that growth. Rapid urbanization is pushing up demand for housing in sub-Saharan Africa. It is estimated that African cities become home to over 40,000 people every day. The increasing housing demand is, however, met with scant new supply. In Kenya, for example, the housing shortage is estimated at 2 million units. If you go to a country like Nigeria, it's 17 million. Now, government alone cannot cover the cost of housing, so private investment is absolutely necessary to complement their effort. Before joining the Kenyan market, City Construction undertook a similar housing project in Angola, constructing over 200,000 affordable housing units within four years. At this moment, we are looking at the uh, market surrounding the, uh, Nairobi, which is the capital of the country and also very vital market. When you take big units together and then you build them at the same time, you reduce cost per unit. The real estate sector in Kenya is attracting major international investment with mega mixed-use developments currently ongoing in the country. But the housing prices are still too high for the majority of Kenyans. David Onyango, KTN Business.